Hi everyone, my name is Kaustub Kale. So today we'll do a very interesting topic where we'll play devil's advocate on what are the problems that people face while investing in stocks. What are the decisions that need to be taken while investing in stocks? So first, let's understand there are close to five thousand companies that are listed in stock markets. So which are the companies that you should choose to invest? Which are the sectors that you should choose to invest? There are multiple sectors. There are multiple companies available: pharma, banks, consumer, FMCG, IT, autos, two wheelers, four wheelers, chemicals, etc., etc. So many sectors available to invest. Which are the sectors that you will invest in? Which are the companies in those sectors that you will invest in? How many companies should be there in your portfolio? Generally, we say that 15 to 20 is a good number. Some people like 10 companies. Some people like 25. Some people like 20. 30 40 companies it can be anything now in this case you will obviously not invest in two or three companies you will invest in multiple companies so what is that exact number that you can track that decides your allocation to companies allocation to sectors now what do i mean by allocation what i mean is will you invest 3% of your portfolio in a particular stock will you invest 10% of your portfolio in the other stock how will you decide that how will you do fundamental analysis and technical analysis of all these companies because while investing and choosing which companies which sectors you will have to do fundamental and technical analysis of many many companies which may say you will invest in certain companies how will you track these companies after you invest when will you buy how much will you buy when to exit how much to exit will you exit 100% will you exit partly will you buy 100% when you have cash or will you wait and buy some part of it all of these questions all of these decisions need to be made so if you see there are so many decisions that you have to make which sector which stock allocation to sectors allocation to stocks out of the entire universe of companies when to buy how much to buy when to exit how much to exit now that you have exited when will you re enter how will the allocations be like all these questions need an answer so what is the solution for this you can do something very intelligent you can invest in basket of stocks by buying mutual funds or exchange traded funds or there is an even more intelligent solution which i like i prefer i recommend is by trading in nifty derivatives that is nifty 50 derivatives now what do i mean by nifty 50 nifty 50 as you may very well know is the top 50 companies ka index the flagship index the most traded index the most tracked index this contains the top 50 creme de la creme blue chip large cap stocks highest in valuation in india across various sectors and various companies so rather than buying individual stocks and making all those difficult decisions you can trade nifty derivatives which are futures and options so you can buy futures depending on your analysis when to buy when to exit and you can hedge it with options by buying an opposite position here what you are intelligently doing is you are focused on one instrument which is nifty itself and even you know that most of the times when stocks go up or when stocks portfolio is doing well even nifty goes up so generally if you see if a stock is going up there is a 50% probability that the reason why stock is up is because markets are positive sentiment is positive and nifty is up so why not just trade nifty 50 that is nifty derivatives so you can trade in nifty derivatives devise an entry and exit strategy through technical analysis and like i said trade in futures and options so by trading in nifty derivatives you can devise an entry and exit mechanism very easily because we also know that while profit booking is important stop loss booking is also important that is booking of loss is also important exit so from this we understand exit is very important for you to enjoy your profits and for you to limit your losses so we all understood that limiting losses and booking profits is important so that your unrealized profits don't remain that way and don't remain unrealized but understand that making an exit decision in one focused instrument like nifty is easier than making a decision in stocks where you will have 15 20 stocks in your portfolio and you will have to decide for every stock ke kab exit karna hai aur kitna exit karna hai that is one important advantage again that nifty derivatives has over a stocks portfolio the other advantage is when nifty falls or when nifty goes up against your favor against your favorable position for instance it will not go say 5% 10% down rarely does that happen but in stocks stocks can go down 5 10 15 20% against your position also for the simple reason that stocks is again 
uh, one stock and it is risky in nature while nifty is 50 companies ka basket where multiple sectors multiple stocks are involved so there is some kind of cushion or insulation available if certain stocks also don't do well so that is the other reason why we prefer nifty derivatives so if you want to invest and trade the flagship index india's most traded index and flagship index then please prefer nifty derivatives for trading the way we have said thank you so much everyone i hope you found this useful as well as interesting